Hi friends, many of you have been to your eye doctors and you have heard the word dilation. Your doctor may have asked you to sit outside in the clinic for 10, 15, 20 minutes to get your eyes dilated. So what is dilation? Dilation is nothing but putting some eye drops in the eyes to widen the central back black portion of the eye. The central black portion that we see from the front is called the pupil and what we want to do is we want to widen that area to be able to see inside the eye. Dilation is done with eye drops. Usually these eye drops have to be instilled frequently in the eye two, three times. Sometimes the dilation happens with only one eye drop and the drop most commonly used in adults is tropicamide. In children, we use a different drops. We use a drop called cyclopentolate. And what these drops do in children is they will weaken the muscles that are responsible for focusing. There are different reasons for dilation in adults and in children. In adults, we dilate to see the retina, to examine the optic nerve and to see the vitreous cavity. In children, we dilate to see all those things but also to find out the number that the child may have. When I say number, I mean number of the spectacles that the child may have. When we dilate the child uh, and the adult, we are able to examine the retina in detail. The retina is one part of the eye which, through which you are able to see the nerves and the blood vessels directly. There are many conditions in the body that will actually show disease first in the retina. For example, a patient may have blood pressure and then develop hypertensive retinopathy. You all have heard of diabetes. Diabetes causes something called as diabetic retinopathy. Now, diabetic retinopathy, if detected in the eye, one can suspect that that patient will have diabetes related changes in other parts of the body as well. So, just to say it again, a diabetic patient comes in for an eye checkup, is diagnosed to have diabetic retinopathy, one can suspect that his other organs are also affected because of diabetes. That is the importance of a dilated eye exam, especially in a diabetic. In children, we need to use dilating drops not only to see the retina and the optic nerve but also to confirm their spectacle number. We cannot prescribe glasses to children before we confirm their number after using dilating drops. Once you put the dilating drops, the vision becomes blurry for both children and adults. In, in adults, the blurriness lasts for a few hours, whereas in children it will last for up to a day. The other thing that happens is uh, th there is increased sensitivity to light. So because of the dilated pupil, the minute you step out of the clinic, you will, the patient may think everything is very bright. So it may be uh, a good idea to actually carry dark uh, your goggles uh, or your glares with you which would actually help you step out of the clinic and get, get home. Finally, it's important to remember to not come alone to the clinic when you want to get a dilated eye exam. You should come with somebody and you should obviously not come driving yourself because you may have uh, vision blurry enough and you, and you won't be able to drive back. Is dilated eye exam required at every visit? The answer is no. You do not need to get a dilated eye exam every visit, but you should get a dilated eye exam at least once a year. So that was about a dilated eye exam. Yes, these exams do take a good half an hour more than your regular eye exam, maybe a little more than half an hour, but they are an important part of an eye exam. And I do hope that after watching this video, you know why it is important. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos on eye care. Thank you for watching.